by two news leaders in learning is brought to you by cap ed credit union about 614 rock hounding where the hobby of searching for rocks is a pretty common thing here in idaho and students at timberline high school are finding it can also be educational kboi 2's abigail taylor shows us how in this week's leaders in learning one Boise school is giving students a hands-on way to learn geology. And it's not what it looks like on the surface. You talk about a club where all you do is walk around and collect rocks. It sounds extremely boring on the surface, but you know you get into it and there's a lot more to it. And you can make some really cool stuff for yourself or for your friends. I guess you could say this club kind of rocks. I really love it. <laughs> it all starts with the search. They go on field trips to find the perfect stones. You know that you picked that up off the ground yourself and made it into this beautiful thing. So it's a, it's a really cool feeling. And apparently Idaho is quite the gem state. Idaho has a lot of really interesting geological uniqueness and so you can find a lot of really nice stuff if you look hard enough. It's why it, rock hounding is really popular in Idaho because you can find so many nice things within the boundaries of Idaho. Once they find their perfect gem, the lapidary work begins, or in layman's terms, the cutting and polishing. So this part of the process is really the most challenging because there's a million and one ways to do it wrong and just one way to do it right. If you just go really heavy, it's gonna take a whole chunk off your stone. You run the risk of chipping it or damaging it in some way, so you have to be extra careful in that step. Once they've delicately shaped their stone, they can choose to keep it the way it is or wire wrap it to really make it shine. It just taught me to persevere and just work with it because it's, it's going to be an amazing product in the end. That machine you saw was brand new, bought through a grant from CapEd. The students say what now takes them about two hours to cut and polish used to take almost six hours on the old machine. All right, well, we'll